uh, the monster from Jekyll Island, uh, which talks about the creature from Jekyll Island, which talks about how the Federal Reserve System was put together. It, it's very difficult to understand how to manipulate some of these things around money without understanding the history of how some of it was put together. And I will suggest that some of this history is every bit as important as the psychological aspects in terms of understanding what's going on with human beings right now. That's not to diminish. I, I am a huge, huge proponent of understanding, understanding the psychology of money. Uh, and I, I think that uh, it's important that we do so, but I think we need to understand it in terms of historical context. Uh, Colin, you have some thoughts about the Federal Reserve. Yeah, just uh, commenting. You know, you see a lot of people with all the, um, oh, you know, quantitative easing, uh, the you know, between zero and a quarter point uh, short-term rates, the uh, possibility of an operation twist. You know, uh, you see a lot of uh, kind of noise out there in the financial media, as well as now in in the political realm. And uh, talking about the Federal Reserve and their realm and their kind of role, and uh, you know what exactly the part is that they play um, in regards to the economy, the the monetary system, and even really even some people are you know the Treasury. Um, so I'd, I'd be interested in, in what both you and some have to say about that. I mean, you know, there are people saying hoard your gold and uh, the dollar will be worthless because of all this money printing. And, you know, others saying, well, you know, hang on, everything is going to be fine. And every, of course, opinion in between. <laughs> Sam, you had your hand up. Uh, you have some thoughts? Yeah. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. Uh... There are two, two discussions here, I'd uh, just like to briefly jump in. One was the earlier topic about sort of like some kind of a financial, another round of financial crisis and the need to sort of, you know, scare everyone into some kind of a prudent action and uh, looking at the limbic system kind of issues. Right. And I think... This some uh, real stuff here that uh, we, we don't know nothing about. We're just tapping into the psychology area. But the neurology area is also very interesting because so much of this is hardwired in, in us. You know, the limbic versus the cerebral is a perfect example of why it's so hard to have 25, 30-year-olds save for retirement over spending on a date. <clears throat> so, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, what are we trying to do here? Is Are we trying to sort of really go after